Texas? We are, um, you know, honing in on the peak of hurricane season, and we do not have any named storms out there. So that would be nice if we could keep it that way over the next week or so. But I'm not monitoring uh, a completely quiet Atlantic basin. There's multiple areas to track out there, three areas of interest, all of which have low chances for development. So let's start off a little bit closer to home. We are seeing still in the eastern Caribbean uh, some low chances for development with this cluster of showers and thunderstorms that is generally moving pretty quickly now off toward the west at 20 miles per hour. So this is producing disorganized showers and storms. You can see that near Cuba and Jamaica this afternoon. Slow development will be possible later on this week, but this disturbance has really struggled to organize. So 0% chance over the next two days, 30% over the next seven as that eventually works into the southwestern Gulf, but no direct threat to Florida. And then back in the central and eastern tropical Atlantic, two tropical waves to monitor, both of which have just a 10% chance for development over the next two days here. So lots of showers and thunderstorms out there to monitor, but those clusters really struggling to actually organize into a tropical named storm. Now, the next name on the list would be Francine, and then Gordon, and then Helene. So a lot to monitor here, but man, relatively speaking, conditions are very quiet considering the peak of hurricane season is around September 10th. All right, closer to home, we are dealing with our typical rainy season pattern today on the NBC2 first alert live Doppler radar. Still mostly dry closer to the Gulf, but I am seeing some pop of thunderstorms. Look at the lightning up to 30 strikes for inland Collier County, continuing to track west at about 15 miles per hour. So heading toward Immokalee, and this is just the beginning. I do expect a very, very active setup later on today. By the way, out ahead of the rain, it is going to be very toasty. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s today. But, you know, it's very close to seasonal, 91 degrees. And we will see those east winds coming to really guide those storms to many communities that are dealing with the heat. So isolated showers and storms heading into around 1. And then take a look at the coverage. Really starts to build in heading into around 4, 5, 6 p.m. And we are looking at lots of heavy rain, lots of lightning. And this is pretty decent widespread rain heading into the evening commute. Heading into late tonight, straight showers and storms still lingering close to the coast as inland spots begin to dry back out. And then overnight we stay dry with temperatures dipping back down into the 70s. Heading into tomorrow morning, here's 7 a.m. on Thursday. We should stay pretty dry for your Thursday morning commute. So overall, rinse and repeat the next couple of days. Highs will hold true to the low 90s. And we are looking at scattered storms in the forecast every single day. I am, however, tracking slightly drier air. Take that with a grain of salt heading into the end of the week. That's just going to slightly decrease the afternoon storm coverage. We will still see pop up afternoon rain. That's your NBC2 first alert forecast.